Big boy is back. Yeah. 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 Yeah, how are you, boys? How are you? 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 Okay. You are welcome. Oh, wow. Let's go inside. 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 Wow, <laughs> my son, Father. how was your trip? Um, it was hectic, yeah. I must say. What made it hectic? Uh, well, uh, first we got our flight delayed, and then we got you know turbulent airborne, but it's all good. It was hectic generally. Well, um, it's sometimes like that. Exactly. And, uh, it's one of those uh, flight hazards. You can't take it away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> then. And then when we got to Moscow, I got my luggage misplaced. But later on, I, I got it back. Mm, thank yeah. God. Exactly. Thank God. So, Mom, how are you? I'm good, as you can see. And everything is going on well, apart from the fact that I really missed you. I missed you too, Mom. I miss <laughs> everyone. <laughs> I missed you and I miss my dad. Hey, hey. I've been expecting that from you because you cannot be missing everybody without mentioning that you missed your dad. That's crazy. <laughs> Why are we wasting time? Please go and get the dining. Oh, you should go and get the dining. That reminds me celebration time. Oh, wow. Thank you, and dining. Oh, my son. Thank God you are finally back home. Thank you, Father. Yes, yes. From here, everyone will be taking shit. Of course, man. Oh, my giant son. Chop dog. Chop dog. Really? Yes. You touch it that. That thing was once a rolling. <laughs> a rolling stone, Dad. to be honest with you. Jeff, I still don't believe you. Whatever games you're trying to play, 
You have to be really careful with me. I don't trust you one bit. Listen to me. You're my friend. And I can lie to you. So you can make inquiries on your own. I mean, you can make inquiries to every bit of the words I say to you. Trust me. My son, uh, you promised us that when you get back to the picture. Yes, Father, I, I said so. But why haven't you said anything concerning it since you came back? Um, I haven't forgotten what I said. And definitely I'm going to do that very soon. Uh, just I'm trying to put one or two things together. And once I'm done, I'll kick off. Please, you have to be fast about it. I can't wait to carry my grandchild. <laughs> sure, Mom, I will. Very soon. It's okay. I trust and I believe you. Where is the place? That's nice. Thank you. Oh, who's that calling? Oh, that's my cousin. Pick up your call. I don't want to take the call. Each time he calls, he asks for money. Oh. Take up your calls. Friend's house. Hello? 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 Hello, I can hear you. Hi, I, I can hear you. I, I will call you back. I think the network is very poor here. Hi. Hello? <laughs> so. Your girlfriend's house. Yes. I, I'm sorry. That's what I, I, I'm supposed to tell him. If not, he will ask for money. I don't have any money here. This is your girlfriend's house, yeah? Who are you? If you talk to me, I'll forget this boy. Are, are you mad? Take it easy. Are you, get, are you mad? Take it easy. Come on. Hey, 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 Steve. Don't you know you're talking to my wife? Hey, Felix. Hey, 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 hey Felix. Stop. Hold it there. 
Did you say your wife? We are not yet married. I don't even know why you keep following me up and down as if I'm a child. Please allow me to live my life. Okay. Fine. It's a good thing you just said it now. Suit yourself then. Let's go. Oh. Hold it. You're married, right? No, I am not. Henry, I, I just need to explain this to you. Keep your to yourself, huh? Henry. Excuse no, me. No, no, hold, hold on. Hold on. Don't I need to explain. Like, excuse me. Please. Henry, hold on. We're not done. Henry! Henry, please don't you. No, 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 no. Henry, you can't do this. I don't know why women are like this. Ah, I don't know why women, women are like this. Women! Fuck! Ah. Please just come with that. Don't worry, I'll be fine. You'll be fine. You won't be fine. Talk to me. What is wrong? Linda, I said I am fine. Jesse, I'm your friend. You can always tell me anything. Talk to me. What is it? Felix saw I and Henry together. What, what did you just say? You heard me, Linda. I am not in the right frame of mind to start answering questions over and over again. Please. Oh, babe, this is bad news. This is... But there is one thing I don't understand. Why would that boy be following me up and down as if I'm a child? But wait. What did Henry do about it? Of course, he was angry as a human being. This is real bad. So, so, so what are you going to do about it now? Hey. I don't know. Henry is a human being. And of course, he was upset. But now, I don't know what to do. Just, oh, babe, this is bad. Can you stop being moody? You're breaking my heart. I'm not like this because I don't want you to travel. But I am going to miss you. Of course I'll miss you too. How do I cope without you for good two years? I know. Same here. I don't even know how I'm going to survive it. I want you to promise me one thing. 
Okay. Without you, we always be there for you. Of course, baby. I'll always be there for you. There is nothing that will stop me from being there for you. Felix. <laughs> baby. Let's take an oath. An oath? Yes. An oath that will bind us together forever. Baby. I know. I know. Our love is so strong. And what I feel for you, you feel for me, but then... I feel we can do all of this without taking an oath. But they said white women. But there is nothing wrong with white women. Who are they? They can never be compared to the love I have for you. I just feel what we have, we can build it stronger without taking an oath. No one is comparable to you. It's okay, stop crying. I'm not going to stay there forever. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Why are women like this? Huh? What haven't I done for this girl? Just two years. Just two years she couldn't wait for me. Why? A woman I have given all my heart to. A woman I have done so much for. No, no, no. Or is it because I refuse to take the oath? Why are most black women like this? Why? Is it just to go back to abroad and, and just marry a white woman? Even the white woman is it's not even perfect. This is too much for me. Oh my god. What's, what's, what's all this now? What's, what's... Okay, you know what? Maybe just let him be for now. Hmm? And, uh, I don't want to lose him. 
Okay. okay, I understand how you feel. Mm -hmm. I guess he's still mad at you for what happened now. Just let him pull up, then call him later. <laughs> Everything will be fine. I don't want you to say. I know. I know. Let me call him again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to say. Let's leave for now. Don't choose him in there. Don't choose him. Felix in. Yes, he's in. Please go and tell him that I'm here. I don't understand. Just go and tell him that I'm here. Okay, fine. Thank you. <laughs> Are you having issues with your brothers? What did he say? He said he doesn't know what to say or moreover I shouldn't let you in. Please, can I go in and see him? <laughs> the fact is that I can't comprehend the kind of drama you guys are playing here. What is really going on? The thing is that we had a little misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Hmm. Well, you have to start going. You're going to scan, you can come back and talk to me. Listen, your girlfriend came around this morning looking for you. Why would she be looking for me? Did you just ask that question? Yes. Because I made it clear to her that everything we have is over. So why would she be looking for me? Come on, bro, come on. If you can't just break up with her, baby, come on. Why would you break up with her? Why? Yeah. If not that we are friends, I would have taken you to be an social. What? How are you even sure this not? I see the both of you are sick in there. But that's a true fact. Yes, it's a true fact. Okay, let me ask you this. Ever since you became an adult, have you ever made love with a woman? Of course, you should know the answer to that. Come on. Guys. Guys. Can we please talk about something else? So how do you want to come to say that you do not do that? I don't! Come on, you said. Sincerely speaking, if there is anything wrong with you, just tell us, we're your friends. Let's know what to do. There is nothing wrong with me. So if there's no problem, then tell me, are you a Christian? Like, are you a born again Christian? Are you a pastor? Or even a Protestant? Which one of them? Tell me. The two of them would be so uncomfortable right now. But if you must know, I do not engage in premarital sex. Never. I was a virgin, and I do still do not be with me. That I never felt the same way. Even though I felt a little bit afraid because I wanted to make out with the lady. But <laughs> I still did my stuff. <laughs> so what exactly are you insinuating? 
Are you trying to tell me Vicente is still a virgin? Huh. From all indication, I think he is. I don't believe you, bro. How old do you think he is? Come on, bro. I'm not talking about years here. No, nah, come on. I still don't believe you. You see, for a woman up to 20 to 25, they can still be a virgin, but not for a man. Men are highly so energetic. <laughs> okay, so what could be the problem? No, what could be the problem? Well, uh, let Judy comes around. Let's let's try to find out what exactly the problem is. Then we we'll pick it up from there. Don't worry. As soon as Judy comes around, we we'll try to find out what the problem is. Okay. Hello, guys. Oh, Judy, how you doing? Fine. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Where is your not man enough friend? Oh, come on. This is why we invited you here. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Michael. You see, we sent to her with him. Oh, see, Judith, we can understand how you feel. But, um, please, I'm so sorry. I can't go back to Vicent. Excuse me. Judith. Is that why you, <laughs> you guys called me here? It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Uh, it's okay. See, we actually have a plan. Yes. We're trying to plan. see if... You I'm know. sorry, I'm sorry. I can't be part of your plan. I can't look for someone else. I'm not interested. Well, it's okay then. No problem. It's okay. It's fine. I mean, why, why is she fooling us? I told you this. I told you. Cheat! You shameless cheat! I don't want to ever see you in this house again! If I see you here, I will kill you! Shameless cheat! Mom, please, please! Stay out of this! Etuk! Etuk! I don't want to ever see this girl here again! If I see her, I'll sack you! Now get out! Now talk to you! What is this? Get here, girl! Let me see you! Phoenix! What is the problem? Eh? What is the problem? Do you still need an explanation? Ha! Huh. Are you, are you aware of anything? Mommy, you heard him say cheat. It's obvious you cheated on him. Are you hot? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, okay? What nonsense. Sorry. Don't Sorry. worry. He will pass the show again. If I catch that boy! Yeah! It's Amanda. Okay. It's okay. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, okay? Sorry. Thank God he didn't rape you. Thank God. Sorry. Sorry, my sister. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, mate. Hey! You're fine, right? I have told my mother. You sure? Thank you. Sorry. Are you sure you're fine? Sorry. What kind of stupid act is that? How can a man be forcing himself on a woman? The rumor has been going around that he has semi-madness. But I don't believe it. I don't believe it one bit. Because, you see what he just did now? If I catch him, if I see him anywhere, that is mad that would leave him. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. You're still panting. Sorry. Sorry, please. Sorry. Sorry, okay? Sorry. Let's go. Sorry. So, young man, who are you, please? I'm Felix. Uh, I'm from this village. The son of Mark Iweze. Oh, Felix. Yeah. The one that has been living overseas. 
Uh, yes, yes, please. Thank so, you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh. Felice, you're welcome. Huh? So how are your parents? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. So can I kindly drop you guys off, if, if you don't mind? Oh. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Let's just this way, please. Bless you too, Mama, but you don't need to thank me. You see, rape is one thing I detest so much, and I cannot be alive to see someone trying to, you know, force himself on a woman. That is completely absurd. You see? Okay, so I believe with the step we've taken so far, he would definitely come to his senses. Why? You see, the reasons some people say he's a madman. Some mother said he's not mad. But could you really believe with someone behaving in that manner? It was more than mad. Well, whatever. I believe for once they are done dealing with him, he would definitely realize that uh, this is uncalled for doing such a thing. I don't want me. Thank you so much. It's okay, Mama. You don't need to thank me. <laughs> Mama, do you remember him? No, I've been trying to place his face, but I can't remember where I've met him before. <laughs> Mark Iwese's son, the one that traveled to Bodoibo. Are you serious? Yes. Hey, this one is just like the mother. How about your parents? They're fine, Mama. They're fine. Come on, but you know to say. Welcome, Oma. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. And let's get you something to eat. No, no, Mama, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with the water, honestly. I went to the village yesterday. You mean you went to the village? Yeah. So I purposely went there to see if I can um, get a woman for myself, you know? <laughs> Don't tell me you want to marry a village girl. <laughs> Truth be told, bro. Village girls seems to be the best. From the way you're sounding, you seem to have seen one already. Well, I can't really say yes, because I haven't made my intentions known to her. Not her parents, but... Um, as it stands now, I... I've seen someone. So far, so good. So good. That's interesting. I wish you all the best. Thank you. So I heard when your mother called you Ami. <laughs> that was how my father calls me when he was alive. Mm. That's sweet. Thank you. May his gentle soul rest in peace. Amen. So I want to ask you. What? Do you like me? Do you think I am good enough for you? Yes, because I really like your personality. Thank you. Well, from the first day I saw you, I got attracted to you. Something in me 
you know, whispered to me that you are, you are the right person for me. Thank you. I like your personality too. Thank you. <laughs> Stop being like that. This is beautiful. Yes, sir. Look at going for church. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Please be the mother of my children. <laughs> Last one week, you've refused to eat anything. What's the problem? Felix pushed me out of his house. Did you go there? I went there the next day after the incident. And he pushed you out? Yes. And he has someone else already. What? That is not the problem now. The major problem now is that Henry has broken up with me too. Why did you call me here? Excuse me. Why did you call me here? Um, can we go in and sit? I, I, I can't go inside. Henry, I know I have offended you. Did, did, did you come here to start telling me all this rubbish? Joyce, how could you? How could you? You practically lied in front of me, telling me he was your cousin that called you. 
only for me to see a man who claimed to be your husband walked up to me and embarrassed me. Felix is not my husband. I don't care if he's your husband or not. Okay, for your information, this wouldn't work between us. And if you try calling my phone again, you'll get it hot from me. Okay? Rubbish. Cheap slug. I don't get it. Are, are you trying to tell me now that both men are gone? It's your Kulinda. Shh. I'm not going to call you. Shh. Shh. Give me your Give me your hand. My phone. Maybe they are not meant for you. They are not meant for me. Nah, brother. Linda, I am not getting younger. I'm growing old. I know. Same way these two came. Another will still come. You just have to take things easy. Don't kill yourself over this. Please. Don't want your friends My son. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. You are welcome, my daughter. Thank you. My daughter, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Good. Stop, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, so dad, mom, she's the girl I told you about. She's from our village. Wow. Nne, you're welcome once again. Thank you, ma. Hi, she's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. My daughter, we've been expecting to see you. Who is your father in this our village? Sir, my father's name is Mr. Julius Okocha. Julius Okocha? Julius Okocha. Oh, I know him. You are the daughter of uh, Julius Okocha. Oh, my dear, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Ah, nam. You have an eye for a good thing. Nke o tin te. You can say that again, eh? father. Ah. Ne ho ba. <laughs> yo, 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 oh, yo, 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 I hope you're already. <laughs> nice to see you, man. Yeah. I'm good. Good to like see I said, you. tomorrow's my birthday. Yeah. I hope you're ready. You know, I don't want the fancy celebration. You know, I just want to flex. I hope babes will be around that day. Of course. And you're going to see that. <laughs> anyway, we have the super pimp here. Yeah. He have you covered. <laughs> Trust me, bro. All plans are intact. Your celebration is going to be the best in town. Uh -huh. Trust me. <laughs> See, I don't really like the way you just put it. Oh, look at the way you just put it now. I See, you're not also a man. Oh, come on. I, I don't understand. When did you realize that babes are meant for us to flex with? Huh? <laughs> Wherever there is cacas, vultures are always around. And what's that supposed to mean? 
Well, because I don't get. Hey, do I look like a vulture to you? <laughs> That's our fault, guys. <laughs> Baby. I'm going out and I I don't want you to go today. Oh, oh baby. I have to go. My mother and my sister are expecting me today. Oh. I just want you to stay around. I mean, seeing your pretty face all the time is enough for me. Baby, please. I have to go. If I stay back, it's going to affect my plans for the whole day. And you know our wedding is in less than two months. Come on. It's just to go and put things in place. Okay, so can you at least wait for me to drop you off when I come back? No, 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 baby. It's going to affect my day. The earlier the better. You'll see me soon. Why are you acting like I'm going forever? Of course, that's how I feel like you're going forever. <laughs> <sighs> okay, all right, in that case, um, here, for your car. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Yeah. Take care of you, okay? And you two come when you get home. I will. She's trying to stop the. Once he stop, eh? You carry him. Pick up. Hmm? It's smart. It's smart. Oh, One wow. I was trying to reach you before you now drove in. Amanda's mother called. She said Amanda has not returned since morning. How? Do you need my money for taxi now? How is that possible? Amanda is switched off. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Try it again. Ah. 
same thing. Ah, ah. What could be the problem? To know. Mama, it's not connecting. What is he saying? Not available, not connecting, or switched off? What is the number actually saying? Why is he not going through? It's saying switched off. Hey! God, rescue my daughter. Rescue my daughter. In fact, call, call Felix. Instead, call his number. I already called him twice. He said, they are still looking for her. Why are you in dumb attention like this? Do you count how many times you call somebody? Call him now. Maybe he has the latest news. Mama, I, can, I, I cannot call Felix again. He's not even ringing. Oh, it's, I've, I've been calling him since now. What did I do to deserve eh? this? What did I, did I do? Give me, let me try. Give me, give me. How could Amanda make such a move? Where on earth could she have gone to? Hmm? Honestly, I am seriously confused. Where exactly could she be? No, no, this is strange. This is strange. This way, this way. <laughs> Move it little step hey, by step. Hey, let's go, let's go. Okay? No, no, no. That, that's where the drinks are. No, no, no. We move this way. Come we on. Go. Okay, I get it. I, I, I get it. You don't think I'm drunk. No, no, no. Let me see. I'm let not. me see. No, no. Oh, you're yeah, not drunk. No, 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 Just keep no. moving. Seriously, I'm not drunk. We know that. I'm sure you're not that's drunk. That's why I want to take you to the room so I can get some. <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. It's your birthday. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Hey, guys, guys. <laughs> what's 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 going on? Enjoy yourself. So bro, this is exactly what a Stalin like you meant, you know? I don't want you to fuck this up. Because this gear was specially arranged for you. I want you to give this gear. No! Hata. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Make sure you give this gear what she needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this, I got this, guys. I got this. Yes.
You know, we've been contemplating on where Amanda could have been since yesterday. And up till now, we do not have an idea of where she is. I think I'm now convinced about your suspicion. Where could she be? I have an idea. Let's go. We have Mama, it's okay. You don't need to beg me. She's equally mine. Okay? The police promised me that they would do everything possible to make sure to find her. Okay? Please help me find her. She and her sister are the only thing I have got in this world now. Please help me find her. I don't Mama, want anything to happen to nothing her. Nothing will happen to her. Stop crying. Okay? It's okay. We will find her. Okay? We'll find her. Please, Felix. 
Do everything you can to find my sister. Please. Since yesterday, we've not eaten nor slept. It's we are okay. counting on it's you. It's okay. You need, to, you need to stay with Mama and encourage her, okay? <laughs> we will find her, okay? Mama, stop now. Stop crying. Mama, stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. She'll be fine. Hmm? All right. Let me run along, okay? Take care of her. Okay.
teenage girl, a little chubby. Mama, there are so many young ladies with such description you just gave that one. I've been said here, so I don't know which one. A young girl that was brought in here by one Mr. Felix. Her name is Amanda. Yes. Okay, okay. That in complexion. Okay, I think I remember. Uh -huh. you just take, take this way. This door is what you are. Go to your by your right. Oh. At this point, she doesn't need any disturbance. Please. As you can see, she can't talk and recognize anyone's voice at the moment. Let's just allow her to receive some treatment for now. I believe with time she'll she'll be fine. Okay? Please just calm down. Just let her be for now. Please. Hey. She doesn't need any disturbance whatsoever for now. Please, can we see outside? Please, all of you, let's allow her to be please. Can we see outside? Mama, you'll be alright, oh? Just stay strong for your mother. All right? You'll be okay. Let me go out and say to the doctor, I'll come back now. Oh? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, further examinations revealed and confirmed that she was actually drugged and raped. Hey! What? Ah! Hey! God, why? Why will my innocent daughter go through what she was delivered from again? Huh? Does that mean we will be able to follow those again to the city? To perpetrate this evil thing? I don't think so, Mama. I think it could possibly be kidnappers. Hey! Wait, wait, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand something straight. Are you trying to say that my woman that I'll be getting married to in few days from now has been defiled? Okay, listen. I think we all need to calm down at this point. Yes, she was raped, but that's not the end of her life. Moreover, no severe damage is occurred to her. It's enough damage already. I made my wife a virgin. And now she's no longer a virgin. That, that's enough damage. Think about it, Mr. Felix. The damage has been done. All right? But you see how your fiancé is. I think we all should be grateful about that. Well, madam, as you can see, she's perfectly fine. And by tomorrow, she'll be good to go. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, doctor. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Doctor. Okay, so I'll be in my office in case of any other thing. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, doctor. That girl is not responsible for this. Then who? I can't recall how everything happened. But I can remember one of them saying happy birthday to someone there. I don't understand. Happy birthday, how? It wasn't your birthday. Why me? Why me? Why would this happen to me? It's okay. For as many as did this, 
God will punish them <coughs> one after the other. Amen. They will not go scot free. Amen. It's okay. it's okay. Stop crying. For as long as the earth remains, they will never go unpunished. <laughs> because he said the soul that sinned shall die. They must pay for their sins. It's okay. Stop it's crying. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you guys are so chill. Ah, what's up, bro? What's your face this way? You tell us how did it go? What do you mean by how did it go? <sighs> do you two know what you've done? Bro, did you enjoy that girl? I mean, what's the experience like? She ain't with us. Come on. Where did you guys find that girl? Where we found the girl is not important. What is important is that you've broken the yoke. So tell us, how did it go? To be honest with you both, I'm not happy at all. <sighs> so you want to tell us that you did enjoy that girl? Talk to us, man. Just let us know. I need to do that. I don't understand. What else don't you understand? You don't understand the fact that I need to be left alone? I need to be left alone! Bro, come on. Tell us what's up. Let's know what's going on. Tell us. I mean, we're friends. I what's the meaning of this? You know what? If you don't have a lawyer, I will gladly get you one. Felice has to pay for this false allegation. So this guy to court and claim damages. Can just come here, arrest you without any proper investigation. Linda, I need to think. Yes. Yes, you need to think. You need to think well. Think of how to go to a lawyer and file a suit against him. Lin Linda, I said I need to think. Can you please get that? Yeah, I get it. You know what? You know what? I am going straight to a lawyer. I'm going to file a suit against him. Look at you. Look at your face. Why are you crying? <laughs> Amanda, what is it? Why are you crying? What is the problem? <laughs> Amanda, your wedding is around the corner. You should be busy with the wedding preparations. <laughs> Instead of sitting here crying. <laughs> what is it? You're scaring us. What is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. I, I, I am pregnant. What? <laughs> you are what? <laughs> what? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't do this alone. I have to tell Felix. <laughs> I can't hide this from him. I don't know what to do. Mama, tell me you're joking. Mama, I am not. I don't even know what to do. I can't handle this alone. I need to tell Mama. Felix. I can't hide it from him. I need to speak to Felix. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. But 
is wrong with you? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> How do you think Felix will feel when you tell him this sadness? <sighs> as, uh, Amanda, as bad as this may sound, I think your sister is right. You have to keep it secret until after the wedding. Then we can take it up from there. <laughs> Stop crying. Can we stop now? This cry is making everything. Go <laughs> top sit over me. Just calm down. <laughs> my head is spinning at this point. Now stop my head is just turning stop round and round and round. Not to me know what to do. It's, it's okay. Hey! Okay, everything. <laughs> to me. I don't like this look on your pretty face. What is it? There's something I... I want to tell you. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, you're getting me scared. Whatever it is, just let it out, okay? Baby, look at me. What is it? I am here for you. Just talk to me. I don't like the fact that you're crying. What's the problem? <sighs> this is not nice. Just Say it. Right? Look at me. Talk to me. What is it? It's me. Mm -hmm. uh... My dad? Oh. The, the incident. The, the, the incident. Okay. What about the incident? trauma. That rapist actually got you pregnant. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. You know, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. Oh, Shit. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's not my fault. <laughs> oh God. Please forgive me. Forgive me. 
certain I I cannot give up on you because of what happened thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much thank you it's okay it's not your fault <laughs> Hmm. You say she's pregnant. Yes, Father. And what do we do next? Father, I'm still thinking. Still thinking. <sighs> Son, you need to call off the wedding. Why? Are you asking me that question? Oh yes, I, I need to know why you want me to call off the wedding. She is pregnant for someone whom you don't even know. So how can you marry her? Is it her fault? No, you tell me, is it her fault that she got pregnant? It's not her fault. Neither is it your fault. Well, if you must know, I am not going to call off any wedding, not even now. Felix, there is no way you are going to get married to someone who has been defied by a criminal. Someone that is carrying a bastard in her womb. What, what are you saying, Mom? Was it her fault? No, you tell me, was it her fault? I don't want to say you're sounding so dumb right now. There is nothing that will make me not to proceed with the wedding. Her past can never come in between us. Never. Um, you dare not walk out on me. I cannot do what you ask of me. Bear me and see the results. <clears throat> Whatever that happened to that girl was her fault. And medically she was proved disease-free. So tell me, 
Why do you want him to call up the wedding? My son cannot marry a girl that is pregnant for another man. But there are some certain things you have to put into consideration. There is nothing to consider at all. I am the chair lady of Christian Women Organization, C. Mom, can you call me that? What are you saying? Have you thought about how I'm going to feel? What's my business with, with, with... I don't care. I don't care one bit. I do care. I cannot make a law and violate it. So, we better go and look for another girl to marry. While Amanda goes out there to look for the father of her unborn baby. Well, well, well. I am still the man of this house. I have forgotten when you started taking decisions over me. Yes. Well, it's my son. Father. I am solidly behind you. Go. Oh. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Mark, is that the way you want it? Yes, that's the way I want it and how it will be. Exactly. Thank you, Dad. I'll take my leave. Right. You take care of yourself. Okay. Fine. Let's see who wins. Say good morning. Let's see who wins. <laughs> Dad. Honestly, I don't want this issue to bring problems in our family. I need it to handle it with the truth. Be quiet. I will. Ah. Let's see who wins. <laughs> so I want to ask you. What? You like me. Do you think I am good enough for you? Yes. Because I really like your personality. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. Wow. I'm so excited. And of course, I can see the bride and the groom radiating in a kaleidoscope of colors. <laughs> no wonder the Bible says that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> From the beginning, the Almighty God instituted marriage by Himself. No wonder in the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse 6, it says, from the beginning, God created them male and female. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and both of them shall become one flesh. So therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Husband, love your wife. Wife, be submissive to your husband because husband is the head of the family just as Christ is the head of the church. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We gathered here to join this couple. But before I proceed, is there anybody here that knows anything Make the church not to wait this couple. Yes, Pastor. Good day. Yes. This wedding will not hold. Yes. The lady in question is pregnant for another man. Yes. Mom! What? So, let her go and look for the man that put that bastard in her womb. Amanda! Yeah. You're not, let me go! 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 Can you let me go? I'm Felix, okay. what do we do now? Talk to me, what do we do? My mother has succeeded in destroying my wedding.
Let's go. All these bloggers to their fake news. I mean, what would make the girl run away from the church? Did you read this caption well? They said it was the mother in law who objected when the pastor of the church asked if there was anybody here who does not want the couple to be wedded. See it now. Hey, Jesus. Hey, this one at home special. I've always known that woman to be a bad person. A young lady. <laughs> and Felix does not have a word of his own. Come to think of it. Why didn't she tell the son not to marry the girl? Other than all this public disgrace. That was her aim. To disgrace the girl. And she achieved it. Really? What? Mm -hmm. What about Felix's father? It seems you do not understand this woman we are talking about. You don't know her personality. That woman is the head of the house. In fact, she is Felix's father. The father is his mother. Are you see, That woman is in charge. Whatever <laughs> she likes, she does. Who wonder? Who wo but, my friend, I am so happy for you. Like, <laughs> this will have been your portion. <laughs> I'm walking around with a wedding gown. She knows if you try him now. Hey! She knows if you try him with me. I sure. If she decrease my own go school, she knows me and she knows what I am capable of doing. Chris, they get part one and two. <laughs> my own <laughs> part two. <laughs> See, eh, if I don't know you well, I'll think you're one governor's daughter like that. <laughs> So tell me, if it were to be you, what would you do? Thank God, you forgot me! Crazy girl. Jeez, I can't believe this. Like, are you kidding? Come on, see the poor girl. She's just walking around with her wedding gown. I feel for her, though. What happened to my 
What happened to my daughter? Uh, Mama, it's just a minor accident. And I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine. And what do you mean that it's just a minor accident? Please, you people should calm down. There's nothing to worry about. She just needs some quality rest right now. Excuse me. Excuse me. She's a right back. You are right. You are not so big. Let me touch my daughter now. Give me what? Mama, don't worry. She'll be fine. We'll take care of her. Thank you. Don't worry. She'll be fine. You're not so big. Mama, don't worry. She'll be fine. Hey! Don't worry. Amma. Amanda. Uh, uh, Dodo, yes. how is she? Oh, is she your wife? Uh, no. I'm actually her friend. Okay, I noticed she's pregnant. Pregnant? <sighs> Doctor, please, I beg you, do whatever it takes to make sure she's fine. Okay? Bills on me. We'll do our best, sir. Thank you very much. Immediately he said he doesn't want his mother to be aware. I started regretting why I didn't attended that wedding in the first place. Come on, I don't indulge myself in such rubbish. I was so ashamed of myself inside that church. Bro, that kind of thing do happen. That kind of thing do happen. It only wasn't the first and it can never be the last. But Jeff, I was expecting that guy to run to that girl immediately. But he didn't, he didn't do so. He did. He did? Oh. He wanted to run after her, but the mother held him back. Jeff, what are you saying? His mother held him back and can't even utter a word. See guys, Felix doesn't love this girl. Quote me anywhere. In fact, what are we doing in that church? You go fear me or got to mojo. Well, if I was the girl, I don't care to know. Even if the wedding is not holding, that girl won't leave that church. Believe me. Yes. Just to prove to her. Just to prove to her that you are not in support of what her mother did in that church. But let me just tell you. If I were him, that brother must wed us whatever he likes to not. Jeff, I'm telling you, he must wed us. Well, what you guys are supposed to understand is he doesn't have a say when it comes to issues in your house. Whatever the mother says, stands. <laughs> I thank God for my father. Who are you? I was expecting that man to react like a good man. But nothing good came from him. Nothing. Listen, Jerry. That guy is not man enough. I need to de-associate myself from him henceforth. I've done that already. I don't need to be told. I've done that already. Yes. If I were to be that girl, I'm going to pour him hot water so that in his next life, when he sees me, he will not even take an inch to get close to me. You see, Joyce, even the woman knows her very well. And she knows she cannot try that with her. <laughs> I trust Joyce now. If not Joyce, Joyce goes scatter her. Everywhere goes scatter her. He said he's going to look for the girl. Has he done that? Yes, he did. But to no avail. Oh, shit. I guess they've returned back to the village. Tell his girl, Oksha. Mama, I've been meaning to ask before now. What prompted her husband to have left her at the altar? My son is a long story. Okay. I have all the time, you know, so I'm ready to listen. My son. She was raped before her wedding. 
and was confirmed to be pregnant. And her mother-in-law swore not to allow her son get married to a woman that is already pregnant for another man. That is the situation we found ourselves. What? Just that? Just that. Is it not much? But it wasn't her fault. And she doesn't care. So she was interested in protecting their image. Too bad. Too bad. <sighs> um, Uju, you know what? Um, I want you to always keep an eye on her. Okay? I will be coming here from time to time to check on you guys. Okay. Uh, I will. Anything you want, anything at all you want, just let me know. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mama. Amen. <laughs> I'll have to take my leave now. Okay? okay. I have some business to attend. No problem. I'll come back to see you guys. No problem. You take care. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, yeah. Okay, Mama. He's such a nice man. He is God sent. Hey, God. Ah. Thank you. I was thinking how I could go about all this hey. whole thing. Oh, ah. Thank you. Thank you. Amanda, you want to kill me before my time? This pain you're going through pierces my heart. Just know that God has every reason. He knows the reason this thing is happening to you. One day everything will be alright. Just let go. So that we can be happy again. Okay, we are eating, you are not eating. Emma, I try. I try my best to let go. But this is too much for me. It's too much for me, Mama. Amanda. I know what you're going through. I know you are trying. I know how painful this is for you. But I also want you to know that Whatever will be, will be. Sometimes, I just feel like taking my life. What? Check this, check, check. check. What are you doing here? What do you want? Where is Amanda? She she went to drink water inside. She left because she does not want to see you. Oh, good. Because I am here to warn her to stay away from my son. Really? Yes. Okay. I would not like to see her anywhere around my house. I had preferred to give her the information directly. But I believe that wherever she might be, she will be hearing me. Or we can still pass the information to her afterwards. Let her stay away from my son. She should go and look for the man that put that bastard in her womb. Failure to adhere to these instructions will be disastrous. If you love your daughter, and if she loves herself, let her stay away from Felix. Anyway, you know I have a good heart. 
That is 400,000 Naira. Give it to her. She should use it to take care of herself. Rebecca? Pick up that money. Um, you can keep it. It's from my heart. If you don't take this money, I am going to teach you a lesson you have never learned in your wildest life. Just pick the money. Oh yeah! Ah! Good! It's okay. Put your high horse. This, that, that is your son. Get away! Get away! Use that money and take care of yourself. Buy cells into your head. Idiot. She's so arrogant. And who cares? Take a look at this paper. What? Say, take a look at this paper. What about it? What nonsense is this? Useless bloggers. You are now happy. I don't understand. You don't understand what? Let me tell you. Whatever one gives out, that must surely come back to oneself. Must surely come back to oneself. Mark, I don't care. All I know is that I have a reputation to protect. What useless reputation are you talking about? A reputation that you have robbed of the world by letting the whole world know that Chief Mark's son's wedding was truncated by his wedding. Is that? People can say whatever they want. I don't care. All I care about is that my son did not go ahead with that wedding, as in to marry that useless and uh, unfaithful girl. Oh, she is now unfaithful, right? That is what she is. Now, let me ask you. What if this had happened to your daughter, Hilda? What if she was caught in this situation? Would you have liked it? God forbid. God forbid. My daughter will never be a victim of such predicament. But Mark, all I need you to know is that all that happened was for the benefit of all of us in this family, not only for me. Eh? I'm Mark, I'm tired, you know, I just came in now. I need to go in and rest. Save yourself the trouble. God forbid, God forbid that it will not happen to your daughter. But if it is other people's daughters, God will allow it to happen. What a world! Bro, bro, bro. Talk to us, whatever it is. We are men. Tell us. Yes. I mean, yes. Did anybody die? I would have preferred it before I had died. That the condition you to put me in. So tell us, what happened? Oh, is this not the girl we presented to you for your birthday gift? Yes, yes. Huh? How did you get the picture? She's someone's wife. What? Someone's wife? Someone's wife? How did you know that? Hey, 
Michael! Somebody help! Somebody help! Hey! Hey! I took her to the hospital. That was where I saw the same Batman I saw that very night. On her neck. Long story short, she ran away from the church. Because her mother and older sister that her son will never get married to a woman who's carrying another man's child. This is not good news at all. Honestly, it's not. First off, I slept with another man's wife. Secondly, I am now a rapist. How am I supposed to leave with all this? Knowing that I caused that girl, all that she's going through now. Well, come on, it's not your fault. We're all taking this as a joke. We never knew it would come to this. We're really so sorry. Whatever the outcome of this incident, you are free from it. I mean, we yeah, are to be honest, not you. What are you even talking about? What are you two even talking about? Look at me. I'm slowly dying away. How do I look at this? Knowing I, I cost us girl all the She's going to Listen, sincerely, from the depth of my heart, we're really so sorry. We're so sorry. See, ah, deep inside. You are my wife, and I'm still in charge of this house. If you continue with this, your attitude, I will have no option than to do what is in my mind. And what could be in your mind? Rebecca, I will not warn you the second time. Mark, if you like, you can rant from now till tomorrow. I must do what I want to do. No one turns me around anyhow. Mark it. Rebecca! Mark, I mean no one turns me around anyhow, and that includes you. Excuse me. Hey, listen, listen, listen here. Listen. Fly that does not always stick to advice always ends in the grave with the cops. Get that one. Mark, I will not end anywhere rather than a better place. Rebecca, let me warn you for the last time. I am still in charge of this house and you will not lord yourself over me. Not when I'm still alive. Then you better die and give me space so I can do what I want. Nonsense. What are you doing here? I came to see Amanda. You came to see Amanda? Or you came to confirm if she's dead? Oh, not at all. I Just get out! Go meet your high husband, mother. Sort it out with her. Go! Scurry! Are you asking me to leave your house? Get out! This minute. You're waiting to see what I'm gonna do? What I'll do to you? Ma, look, I, I understand that. Fellas, get out. You're irritating me. You're getting on my nerves. Get out! Excuse me. You... I know your mother must have told you she didn't succeed. And that's why you are here to confirm if my sister is dead. You failed. My mother came here 
Don't worry, I'm coming. You'll find out. Just get out. Wait for me, I'm coming. Get lost. I don't like what you want. Just get out. Get lost. Idiot. What did you tell Amanda and her family? What sort of rubbish question is that? I'm not here for jokes. And neither am I here for jokes too. Now listen and listen good. If I fail to marry that girl, I will remain unmarried. Then, be ready to remain single for the rest of your life because you will not marry that girl into this family. Really? Yes. Okay then. <laughs> Mama? Hi. Mama, how are you? Mama, the Mama, how are you? I'm very good. Welcome, Bona. Thank, no, no, Thank, no. Thank you. 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 Mother, how are you? As you can see, I'm all right. Oh, yes, <laughs> you all are looking very fine. God is faithful. Yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. let's go inside. Oh, oh no, Mama, I have something in the boots. Let me get them, huh? Yeah. Yes. Ah, ah. Hey! <laughs> oh, yes, Mama. Hey, you move I am there, my love. Hey! Tell me, what is it? I went to see you Which girl? Amanda? Yes. You see, she told me that Felix's mom came to the house and threatened her to stay with my son if she wanted to What? What has gone wrong with that woman? Eh? She should allow this boy to follow his heart. I just don't know why I'm not involved with this. Yes, it is your fault. Yes, you caused it. I've always warned you against this your reckless driving. Mom. Yes, if you had been more careful, this accident wouldn't have occurred. I'll just feel pity. Yeah, the deed has been done. There's nothing we can do about that. Future is just too young to go through all of this. Yeah, that's the will of God. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe God wants to push her to a better place. Yes. have gone. Even the uh, under this rain, you are still here alone. I'm trying to land off. Uh, so now we Okay. Um, I forgot my phone. That's why I came back. You didn't even notice I see, it. See it. <laughs> it's okay. Bye. Rebecca, come. Come, please. There's something I would like us to discuss. Please sit down. Discuss something? Yes. Sit down. Thank you. 
I want us to discuss about your family. More especially Felix, your son. Please. Philomena, spare me that. I don't want to discuss anything about that. Um, next time, okay? Come, Philomena, come. Sorry, sir. Don't you think you're making a mistake by doing this? Philomena, I am not making any mistake. Come to think of it. Are you the one actually telling me this? An executive member of Christian Women Organization advising me to allow my own son to marry a girl that was impregnated by another man. Are you her way? Are you sure you know what they are saying? Philomena, my friend. Law does not catch you if you allow your son to marry that girl. Besides, it was an accident. It wasn't a deliberate act. They are all the same. They are not the same for crying out loud. Get one month for once. At least I am your friend. Huh? Look, all I'm trying to tell you is for you to think very, very well. Think before you end up making mistakes. Are you done talking? There is nothing to think about. I have made my decision and it's final. See you later. Rebecca! Rebecca! Rebecca, Garamara Nick Bekwazo! So what are your plans? Don't tell me your plans. There's a saying. It's teaching time. Save time. I would suggest you go look for another woman. I can't be running around looking for a woman to marry. If a man refuses to sell with a man unmarried, that's a wrong statement to make, my friend. You never be took my word. Listen to me, my friend. You're a real man. And real men are known for their bravery. To stand whenever they fall. Come on. I have lost my strength. You have to pick up your courage. I have long time been discouraged by my mother. And I'm going to surprise her. You have to be on the right page so you don't make mistakes. Oh, I just made you look close to her. Yes, I'll be there shortly. Okay. Who called you? Amanda's sister. Amanda's sister. What did she say? She called me for me that Amanda tried to choose. So why is she calling you? 
as her father, a brother or boyfriend. I don't get it. Wait a minute. Vincent, is there anything going on between you and that girl? No, mother. Nothing's going on between us. So what were you called to be informed? That's because I was the one who put her in pain. Yeah, but she has recovered from the accident. Emotionally, she is not. Okay? I need to go and see her. And I'm going down. Vincent, is there anything you're hiding from me? No. There's nothing I'm hiding from you. Why is it so hard for you to understand this? I, I just feel you are missing going down. That's it. Oh, really? And you're the best person to call? That's the girls. I've got the conscience. I'll see you when I go back. I'm sorry I attempted to do that. Promise I'll not do it again. Amanda, you see that you were jilted by one man. It doesn't mean the whole world has jilted you. The strength of a woman is her ability to stand no matter how many times she has fallen. Amanda, you are a strong woman. Do not allow your past experience weaken your soul. Forget about them and move on with your life. Please. It's okay. Thank you. I think I feel a bit relieved. I'm happy too, you know. So how's your baby doing? Fine. Okay. It's raining. I think you should start leaving before it gets here again. My dear, I think it was you who was supposed to go inside while I leave. So why don't you go inside and then leave? Go, please. Why don't you want to see me? Do you expect me to run out there and jump on a man that jilted me and locked me up in a police cell? Jilting you is one thing, yes. But locking you in a police cell should be considered. Babe, this man has apologized for the wrong information he had about you. So what else do you want? What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, you should have heard from him. Remember, you are the one that offended him. Are you for real? What do you mean, am I for real? Felix caught you red-handed with another guy. And <laughs> you are here asking me, am I for real? Or isn't it what happened? For crying out loud, Linda. Are you trying to tell me that 
Felix spent two years out there without touching another woman? Let me tell you something. Any accusation we level against that guy will be innocent of it. Do you know why? Number one, you were never there with him. Secondly, <laughs> you didn't catch him with any other woman. But your own reverses the case. So what are you saying? Joyce, this man still loves you. I mean, I saw love in his eyes. Stop it. Why? Because you're sounding as if he's been bribed. God knows he gave me nothing. Then why are you soliciting for someone you know reason he is coming back to me? What happened has happened. Oh, maybe God just wants to use this to bring both of you back together. Just hear him out, please. I am not interested. I suggest listening to him. That's just all I'm saying. Like implying any other thing. Just tell me now. You're welcome to um, this beautiful house. I'm sure you all are just where we are. Well, I'll tell you. This is your new home. Oh my god! Mm. What? Yes. yes. Ah. Mama, hmm? Mama, if you Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Vincent. Yes, dear. Sorry, but why why all this? You see, I I'm doing this because I want them to take good care of you. Oh. Oh. Vincent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Mama. May God bless you from generation to generation. Amen. And may your pocket never lack any good thing. Amen. Hey! And them. Come on, come I'll be right back. Oh, Mama. I'm coming. Oh, Mama, I'm coming. Hey. Mama, borrow some Amanda, I just want to see you happy. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. God bless hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that. Please. Oh. Oh. Amanda, I love you. If we had not done that, we need to be thinking of getting married by now. I just feel like going to meet the mother and letting everything loose. No, come on, bro. Stop. Don't do that. That would cause some big havoc. And how is that supposed to be my business? When they relax. Come on. I mean, relax and understand me. You can't do that. 
the law is going to catch up with us if you mess up. Come on, relax. Or are you trying to tell me you are jealous of this guy getting married to her? Jealous? No! Just that I never expected such kind of thing to happen. After everything he said we did. God's plan. <laughs> God's plan, bro. Secret. Any day that girl finds out that he was one that actually raped her. Mm. Man, heaven will let loose. I'm not going to be around on that day <laughs> to witness such an havoc. Count me out, bro. <laughs> I won't be around on that day to witness such a havoc. No, I just pray that that girl never saw our faces. Faces? What are you talking about? Faces? Did you open your mask? Max? Me? Yeah. Huh? No, now. Come on, we're good to go, bro. I can't do that. Don't worry, it will be fine. I get some more drinks. I call the barman. Barman! Yes, sir. Barman, come, yes, come. Yes, I'm deeply sorry for everything. Please find a place in your heart and forgive me. Please. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I know you're so hot. But please, find a place in your heart and forgive me. Um, Felix, I'm sorry for cheating on you. It was not my intention. The thing is that I met Henry when we lost contact. I stopped hearing from you for eight good months. I was confused. I was broken. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. Forgive me, please. Apology accepted. Even before now. What could be the meaning of all these dreams? Does it mean that Felix wants to come back to me? My dear, so the way things are going now between you and Felix, I think he's definitely coming back to you. Um, Linda, please, if there is anything you know that I can do to bring him back, please tell me. I am ready to do anything. I want Felix back in my life. You know, you know dreams are revelations. I know. And for you to have that same dream two consecutive times I think is a sign that he is definitely coming back to you when was that? he's coming back soon just calm down Prince. Yeah. Oh, my girlfriend is in love yes. God, where? Oh. I believe in love like <laughs> this crazy girl please come back to me 
make this dream come true. Madam, calm down. I don't want to think because you're too close. <laughs> Amanda, right? Yes, ma. Mm. You're welcome. You may sit. Thank you. <sighs> so, how is your mother and your sister? They are fine, ma. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, mother. Yes, ma. I decided to bring her here to officially introduce her to you as the woman I intend to make my wife. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> mother. Wow. Okay. Well, son, just like you told me earlier when you first briefed me about your intentions towards her, <sighs> marriage is not what one goes in for fun or for pity. It must come from your heart because it is something that lasts for eternity. Mom, I'm happy to have found a woman like Amanda. I love her so much. And my intention to make her my wife is from my heart. I will bless your union. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mom. You're welcome, son. Thank That's you very great. much. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome, Dr. Will soon be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Hi, Mom. You sent for me. Yes. Um. Sit down. I want to tell you something. I'm, I'm going out to see a friend. Don't worry. I won't take much of your time. Just sit down. Mom, can we talk about this later, please? I'm rushing up for something. Yes. 
Felix. 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 What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. Shut up. If nothing is wrong with you, why did you ignore me inside? You embarrassed me. Mom, but I already told you I'm rushing out to see your friend. And I told you that I'm not going to take much of your time. Can we talk about this later when I come back? It's very simple. Felix, don't try walking out on me again. That girl sitting inside there came because of you. Because of me? Yes. I invited her so I can introduce her to you. What for? You see that girl? I want you to marry her. She is a good girl. Moreover, she came from a godly family. You will like her. You amaze me. Felix! Felix! Where did you get this? I got it from the right source. Chill. Such is life. Come on, I'll see you later. Felix. Felix. from me. I don't want to do it. You don't want to do it? With your husband? Who else do you want to do it with? Nobody except you. Then? Please stop. What is it? I'm still a virgin. Oh. Please, can you do me a favor? What favor? Can you be patient with me till our wedding day? Is that what you want? Yes, please. <sighs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. But at least we can play. Right? No. Everything is locked till early night. I'm not in the mood for any discussion. 
Please. Felix, you told me when you come back we talk about it. Do you think I'm a child? Let me ask you a question. Have we discussed about getting me a wife? No, we've not discussed about that. But I am your mother. I know the right thing for you and the right time. You need a wife. Well, I'm not interested. Why? Is it that you don't like that girl? Please, 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 just, just stop with this girl thing. If you don't mind, I want to be left alone. Kindly leave my room, please, mom. Felix, I am going nowhere. I will not step an inch until you tell me what I need to hear. What do you want to hear from me? Tell me you like the girl. Then I will commence with the marriage arrangements. Period. Okay, fine. You can commence with the arrangement. At least for yourself and not for me. What? Let it be on record that my mom married a woman. What was that supposed to be? Please, mom, I, I want to sleep. Please, please. I had a long day. Please. You want to sleep? Please. Can you stop this? What I'm is not wrong with you? Anything. You must give me the answer I need to hear. Can you let me be for crying out loud? No way. Jesus Christ. Mom, please. Thunder fire that your mouth. Are you mad? What do we call this? What are you doing on my bed? What? Oh, sweetheart. Just tell me you don't like what you Come on, get, get the hell out. Are, are you? Get out. my son. How are you? I'm not fine. What is the problem? Are you aware of the woman mom brought here for me to marry? No, I am not aware. When did this happen? She put some girl here yesterday. Please, I don't want to do anything stupid. Kindly tell her to send that girl away. Please. Now, Dad. Now. It's okay. Dad. Why would this woman allow us to rest in this house? Why? God bless this day for, for making me to see you again. How are you? I'm not fine. Why? What's the matter? Amanda, you are my problem. I mean, ever since you left my life, I have not been myself. Felix, please don't start. Please don't start. Amanda, that's the whole truth. I mean, I have not been myself ever since you left. I'm deeply sorry for the way I treated you, please. Felix, please stop. Can you? It's hard. It's hard for me to let you go. Please, can we can we at least talk? Can we can we talk Felix, somewhere? please just stop this. People are watching. I don't care. I don't care. But I care. I'm a married woman. 
can't, I can't be seen doing this. It's, 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 it's not nice. I need to go, please. Uh, Amanda, please. Can you kindly give me audience? Maybe let's sit in my car or yours. Just anywhere. We can sit down and talk anywhere. Please. This is very important to me. Please. So, what is it you said you want us to talk about? Because I need to leave. Amanda. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't love me anymore. I did, Felix. But not anymore. My wedding is around the corner. And if this is what you want to discuss with me, I'll have to leave now, please. Amanda. Amanda, what happens to the promises you made to me? You said your life will be incomplete without me. Yes, I did. But it was unfortunate your mother never wanted me. You're getting married to me and not my mother. Felix, please. I need to go. Amanda, please. Let's let's do this. Let's let's get married and travel overseas. I can't. Can I go now? Amanda, you said to me, where you die, I will die. Where I die, you will die. You said to me that you cannot survive this life without me. We made so many promises to each other. You said you love me with your life. Has all that changed? Sorry for everything. I'm deeply sorry. Let's continue from where we stopped. I've learned my mistakes. do this. The news of my demise will get to you.
Yeah, we're welcome, kids. You're not looking good. There's a problem. What's the matter? <laughs> you see, normally I would have strangled you, right? But I don't want to be tagged a murderer. I will advise you, my mother is deceiving you. I will not marry you. That is never going to be possible to have anything to do with you. My candid advice is take yourself out of my house. You're a pretty girl and hopefully you'll get someone out there that will value you and not me. I don't want to come back here and see you on this bed. Dare me. your bag. I'm going back to my house. How do you mean you are going back to your house? What do you take me for? A jobless woman who doesn't have anything doing? Or a consular? You brought me here in the name of your son who will marry me. But that same son of yours practically told me that he's not going to marry me. So what do you want me to do? What? Did my son tell you that? Yes, he did. Did you tell Vanessa? The simple truth. What truth? That I will never marry her. How dare you, Felix? How dare you tell her that? Oh, please, I am not in the mood for this, please. Whatever. Felix, I want you to have this in mind. That that girl is going nowhere. Never. You must marry that girl. She's going nowhere. That is it. Uh -uh. Mommy, what is it? What are you looking for? Vanessa. Did you see her? Vanessa. No. Was she here? Yes, not see her. She was. She was here. Hey, Tuke! Mama, you Madam, good day. Did you see that girl I was talking to a few minutes back? No. She don't come out when you go inside. She left. She don't go. Mom, what's going? I don't understand. I saw Vanessa with her bags outside. Mm -hmm. And when I asked her, she said Felix told her that he would not marry her again. Hey. So I went inside to confirm from Felix, only for me to come out and she has gone. Ha -ha. And you couldn't stop her? I'm sorry, Ma. I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened? We didn't get her from here. Just, he said, get out. Just imagine.
What's what's the main of this? I need to speak with you. Speak to me? For what? I spoke to Vincent and I... I want him to stay away from you. How dare you? How dare you, Felix? I did that for one reason. Because I cannot give up on you. Are you stupid? Are you mad? Are you here? Don't know enough damage to my life already? What's your problem? What do you want from me? What do you want from me, Felix? I want you back. Now you listen and listen real good. The next time you try this rubbish again, I will sue you for assault. See you in court then. with that guy after leaving you to die in pains then he comes back to remind you of it never look mama I will not take it from Felix I will not allow Felix to ruin my sister's marriage because I know that's his new plan I know it will not work for him never never will it work I shouldn't bother you I hate men that behave like women even me, as a woman, there are things I cannot take. Talk more of a man. I mean, how can your mother disrupt your wedding? On your wedding day, and you didn't do anything? You didn't say anything? If I were to be the one, I would deny you as my mother, in front of everybody. You, you, you left a girl on the altar, and now the girl is beginning to pick up herself. She's trying to pick up her, her, her broken pieces and you're back again. To say what, please? To do what, please? Is your husband aware of the issue? Mama, you will not believe that Felix spoke to my husband about this issue. So, what were they discussing? Same issue? Of course. He told my husband that he should leave me alone. That I, Amanda, belong to him. <laughs> um, what did your husband say? You know my husband now. He didn't say anything. <laughs> ah! I have suffered. I have suffered. I will tell Felix with all his money, abundance of it, I will tell him with not his money, everything is not possible. And when they go near me, yes. when they go near me, a guy did me for me. That is what it means. Rubbish. Nonsense. Rubbish. Yes. What are you doing in my house? I came to see your son. My son? Yes. Why? Tell your son to stay away from my daughter. Haven't you put on enough harm already? Are you going to do more? Stay away from your daughter. I don't understand. You don't know what it means for someone to stay away from somebody. I won't come here to repeat myself again. You know, yeah? I won't come here again. How dare you accuse my son of such? Have you no fear? See this question you just asked now, Omaka. But you come to the shrine to ask it. If I hear or see your son any inch close to my daughter, if I'm Nanya, your mommy will fight for you. I have something that will fight for you. Stay away from your daughter. 
So, bro, you need to tell me that this guy came down to your house. As in, this guy had the impetus, had the mind to come to your house and warn you to stay away from Amanda. Ha! God! The same guy who abandoned this girl in the church. You can say that again, bro. That guy is really sick. Yes. I don't even think for one day that is normal. A man who could not stand for a woman he loves is a sick man. It's not normal. I mean. And that's why Felix tries me in this town. I will mess him up. Well, bro, get ready. Because I don't see him slowing down with this nonsense he just did. Felix is not my match. I mean, he knows the kind of people he can mess with. And not me. As far as I'm concerned, Amanda will never go back to him. Not while I'm still alive. Yes. See, bro, he is an elephant. And you are an elephant. So, let him come. Yes. Let's call a spade a spade. And not a walking tools. We shall see to the end. <laughs> you all know me. I don't talk too much. Whatever I say I will do to that boy is what I will do exactly. He's just a mommy's boy. What does he know? <laughs> what has he seen in life? Let him come. He hasn't seen nothing. Let him come. He hasn't seen nothing. Amanda's mother was here today. Looking for you? Looking for me, of course. Looking for me? I heard you've been moving around with that same girl. Not that same girl. But my wife. Amanda belongs to me. But nobody not even you can stop me again. I'm sure you're right. Let it be known that I, I regretted ever listening to you. Of course, I'm all right. Your mother said she will report you to the bishop. She wants me to come back I like that part. Now we will be glad if you do that real quick. How on earth am I going to handle this? How am I going to present this to her? Hmm. Felix will definitely use this against me if he gets to hear it. But who would tell him? Hey. What is it? You're not sleeping. Uh, I'm fine. I'm, yes, I'm, I'm very fine. My love, 
talk to me. I am your wife. What is bothering you? You know I love you, right? You know I love you too. Do you think you can ever leave me? I don't understand. Well, I mean, uh, do you think there's um, anything that could come between us ever? Baby. Even that cannot separate us. I want you to know that I am never going back to Felix. You are the reason behind my smile. And I'm not leaving. Thank you. You're welcome. So can we go back to sleep? Thank you for coming into my life. God bless the day I found you.
I promise I'll never forsake you. Even in my time of sorrow. Under no circumstances will I ever let you go. I just thank God for giving me the man of my dream. Where you die, I shall die. Where you die, I shall die. Let us bless our new wife. Hmm? God will bless your union in Jesus' name. Your union shall be stronger than mine in Jesus' name. Amen. Both of you will bear good children. You will have everything it takes to train your children. And then in return, your children will look after you, people in old age. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Cheers. Ah! <laughs> yoma, yoma. Mm -hmm. Aka, aka. She's pregnant. What? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is a very bad news. The doctor confirmed she's two months pregnant. What's the way forward now? Eh? Mm -hmm. Is your father aware of it? Not yet. <laughs> Good. Don't tell him yet. We will get rid of the pregnancy. The marriage will not work since you don't want to adhere to my plan. Are you serious now, mother? How can you suggest such a plan? Sometimes, it's good to treat ugly situation with ugly action. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will never be part of that plan. In that case, then consider the marriage void because I will not be part of it. Oh, fine. Fine. If that's what you want, fine. I'll be part of it. It's okay. Let's see. Brother Felix. Brother Felix! Please. I want to be left alone. Are you okay? Is anything. Get out! The best thing that can kill a man is laying on bed and more than that's My son, 
I'm advising you as a father. Stop distracting that girl because she has found peace in her new home. How did you know about that, father? Yes. I learned that her mother came here complaining about it. And moreover, Vicious mother accosted me on the way and said the same thing. But father... It's I... all your fault. It's all your fault. I told you, but your mother's attitude blindfolded you. Son, you are a man. And you should always act as one. See, our thinking and that of women are not the same. You shouldn't have left the church after your mother's speech. What would I have done, Father? Stand. You should have stood your ground. Stood your ground like a man. After all, you are the one who is going to live with the girl, not, not your mother. Everything happened so fast. I, I didn't know what I was thinking at that point. Should I say I, I was buried in shame? My son, can you bear yourself? You were buried in shame for a girl to love. Who could ever say that? It's too late. Too late. Because you cannot go back to that girl. That girl, you did not visit her or try in any way to see her when she was in the hospital after the accident. No way. Father, you're right in everything you said. But I'm deeply sorry it happened that way. I have come to realize my mistakes. Yes. Your mistakes has made you to lose the girl. Henceforth, stop going to that girl. Keep away from her because she is now a married woman. I wish so hard. Sorry, okay? Sorry. 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 S
Should I help you move the leg? Show me her behind me. Sorry. 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 We're here. We're here. We're here. Are you sure back is not the time? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But which one is better? I'm taking back. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's okay. Let me go. Let me go. Open the door. Where's Mama? She's inside, she's coming. Alright, let's have her. No, I'm here. Don't worry, she'll be here. Hello, who's this? Hey! Hello, <laughs> Mama. Oh, no. No, Mama. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mama. Mm -hmm. I'm done with Father. My wife just gave her to a bouncing baby girl. <laughs> 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 Mama, I'm not a grandmother. Of course, and I'm not a father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not a Yes, sir. Why, 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 Something. something like what? This baby looks exactly like Vincent. Ah, uh -uh. Do you know the reason? It's because they have, he was close to her during that pregnancy period. Exactly. Mama, when I get pregnant, I'll be going close to Vincent. So my baby will be as cute as he is. <laughs> if it's like this, what will happen when he gives birth to his own child? Hey. Eh? But do you know what it means? He has a very strong gene. Yes. Look at her cheeks. She's so flawless. Ah. And the skin clean. Hi. Awesome. <laughs> Honey? Hi. This is it again. Nothing. I'm 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 fine. I'm good. I I just lost my appetite, that's all. From all indication, something is bothering you. Why not talk to me? What is it? Babe, nothing is bothering me, I promise you. I'm fine. Okay? 
Why are you lying to me now? Charlene, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. If... If it is because of my daughter, don't worry. I can tell my mother to come and take her with her. What? <laughs> Darling, please, I beg you. Don't ever see this again. Okay? Please. If it is not my daughter, then what? What is wrong with you? You've been like this for days. You know what? Let's go and fix this bag. Okay? Let's do it. Okay? Let's go. Why are you doing this? He restored my happiness. And now you are breaking me down again. Oh, come on, darling. Don't make me feel guilty now. Huh? Listen. I just don't want to make you part of my words. Honey. Your worry is my worry. What is it? <sighs> well, it's my father. He's having some issues abroad and um, I'm supposed to raise 105 million to save his life. What? 100 and what? Hey, hey, hey. Don't raise your voice. He doesn't want my mother to know about this. Okay? So, what are you going to do about it now? What, what are your plans? How do you intend to raise the money? I don't know. I don't know because I don't have that kind of money here. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, but I, I, I believe God will make a way where there's no way. Amen. Okay, yes, Amen. yes. I'm, I'm just, I'm just being hopeful. That's all. I'm so sorry to hear this. It's all right. I'll be fine, I promise. Huh? Come here. I was so worried. Something is definitely wrong with my husband. Something like what? Mama, if I knew, I wouldn't be telling you. I don't know. And lately, he does not sleep well at night anymore. He doesn't even sleep at all. Have you tried to find out what the problem is? Mama, over and over, I keep asking. And then recently, he lied to me that his father is sick overseas and needed a huge amount of money for his illness. I quite believed him. But later, I said no. He's lying. Have you discussed it with his mother? I haven't. In that case, you have to tell her. Since he doesn't want to relate to you what the problem is with him, talk to his mother. Mama. Do you know, I even went as far as telling him that if it's because of my daughter, I wouldn't mind calling you to come and take her with you. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? Yeah. You should have seen his reaction. I'm so worried. Vincent, what is wrong with you? You said he had something to say, but you've been quiet. Baby, what is it? Talk to us. We're, we're all worried. Oh, you're crying. Hey. Son, please. What is it? You're getting me scared. Ogini. Eh? My darling wife. Yes.
Mom. Yes, sir. My mom in law. Nah, I'll go. You see, what I'm about to say now might be the end of this beautiful union. Honey, what is it? But however, I will say it. <laughs> because the Bible teaches us to always confess our sins to one another. Mm -hmm. And they will be forgiven. Exactly. Exactly. So go ahead and talk. So I'll start by by saying that I, Vincent, Ohanugo, is the real father of your daughter. Eh? I am her biological father. Vincent! The only thing that will be so hard for me in life will be forgiving the man that raped me. I don't think there's anything or anyone in this life that can convince me otherwise. I hate him. I hate him so much that the thought of the whole scenario it, it hurts me. I hate him. I hate him. Such a such a disgusting man. You see, my, my friends, they kidnapped her and they presented her to me as a birthday gift. Hey! Hey! I was too drunk on that fated night. I didn't know what I was doing. They, they forced me to sleep with her. This <laughs> hey! I'm sorry. Hey! Baby, I'm sorry. Okay. I am I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know who to, I didn't know who to be. My, my daughter, my daughter, please. Oh. Amanda! 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 Just take it easy. Eh? You will still dig it when you remove it because you will not leave your yam under the ground. Because you know, calm down. Everything will be alright. Let's talk about Emma. Amanda. Amanda.
My daughter. My daughter. Please. Wait. My daughter. Please. I'm going to take care of your own need. Amanda. My daughter. Amanda. 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 Please. I beg you with everything I have. I didn't baby, know. Give me the baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But you promised to forgive me no matter what it was. Sorry. You listen to me. I would rather die than forgive you. I never. Please, have mercy. Biko, 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 please. Please. Mama. Hey. Think about us, okay? Think about us. You promised me that you, you, you were going to forgive me no matter what it was. Think about us. Think about our baby. Think about me. You promised me. I promised you nothing. I promised you nothing. For the sake of this baby, oh, please, you can let me. Mama, please. The only thing I want right now is for you both to tell these rapies not to touch me one more time. Hey. Don't try it. Hey. So much pain, so much tears, I feel like that. This is the height of it. Honestly, I cannot take it anymore. So, this man has been the, the enemy within. You see, those his friends, including him, will not go unpunished. I will make sure I get them arrested. I will make sure they never lose God free. <laughs> you know I was dumbfounded when you told me this. I wasn't expecting to hear something like that from me. Amanda, get ready. I'm taking you to the police station. Will you calm down? Mother, well, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Mother. You know what my sister has been going through. You know what she went through, Mother. And babe. Don't tell me to calm down. <laughs> I remember, all, I remember all those things she did wrong. But before you go to the police or do something like that, you have to put some things into consideration. What consideration? What consideration, what consideration mother? What, what consideration? What, what, what is on that wall? I have said my own. I will not let those people go unpunished. They must face the law. I will make sure I get them arrested. I will do anything to get them arrested. I stop doing this to my sister. I will make sure I deal with them. They will not go scot free. I will make sure I get them arrested. <laughs> Really sorry.
Son, what is it again? Oh, please. I want to be left alone. Please. The police are here to see you. The police? Yes. Good day, officers. Are you Mr. Vincent? Yes, I am. My name is Sergeant James from Central Police Station. Very well, Sergeant James. Is there, is there a problem? We are here to invite you to the station. To your office? I, I can't remember having an appointment with the police. So please. Can you help explain to us what the problem is? Yes, please. When we get there, my boss will explain to you. Um, I think I have to change it to something else. No, no, no. You're okay like this. Let's go. Um, officers, please, just take it easy. Um, Madam, don't worry. Everything is on control. It's okay. Let's go. Uh, Mom, I Let's think go. I can handle this. Okay? Are you just sure? hold on. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Okay, I'm coming with you. <sighs> Mom, you don't have to. I'm coming with you. Don't worry. Don't worry. What are we going to do? <laughs> Bro, as I'm speaking to you, I am totally short of words. I am lost. I told Vicente about not revealing these things to Amanda. Of course he could live with her from now to 300 years to come without her knowing. <laughs> Bro, as it stands now, what can we do now at the moment? The situation is terrible, very critical. What can we do? Bro, see, whatever the case may be, eh? Do you know what Mr. V said? Yes, he's our friend. Of course. He's my very good friend. What can we do for him? Officer, arrest them. What's our offense? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What, 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 why, why are you arresting us? When, what? When we get to the office, my boss will explain. Move. Hold on, let me call my lawyer. Hold on. No, hey, just a minute. Sir, we no. need to know our offense. Let me, let me let's call my lawyer. Go. Just, let's a go. Let's just a minute. Let me, hey, let me let's call, go. let me call my lawyer. Let's go. Let's go. Just like that. Yes. My boss will explain. But we need to know our offense. Like that. What, for what? what have I done to this office? Where is Amanda? Amanda, she locked herself inside the room and has refused to open the door. You called the police to arrest my son. What? I called the police, not my mother. Would you know how dare you? How could you do such a thing? Huh? 
I'm sorry, Madam Grace. Your son and his friends will have to face the law. How dare you do such a thing without my permission? Why? How? I'm sorry, Mama. I just, I just had to do this because I knew you weren't going to support me. I'm sorry. Ujoa, is that how you want it? I'm sorry, Madam. The law will have to take its course. Madam Grace, please, I beg you. Don't, don't, don't be angry. Don't take it to heart. I'll, I'll personally go to the station and handle it. Please, I am sorry. You arrested my son for a case he knows nothing about. The law will decide. Please, I am sorry. I beg you. Don't you want to come down? Is there any problem? I just feel for my friends. Do I need a soothsayer to tell me that you are aware of their plan? Come on, Mom. You know me too well. I just don't want them to go to jail. But son, it's not your fault. I still feel we could do something. Yes. We can call up the barista, call up Barista Leonard. I'm sure there's something he can do about this. My dear, let the law take its course. Come on, let's go in. Everything will be fine. Come on, dear. Are you sure about this, yeah, it's mother? It's okay, dear. It's all right. Please, I want to watch the motor. Oga, Oga, I want to watch the motor. Stupid. Get out! Son, the way you're going about this matter is deeply eating you up. Why are you doing this to yourself, even at this moment? Michael and Gideon got sentenced to jail today. Yeah. I'm so sorry about that. 15 years imprisonment. All because of me. Son, it is not because of you. You didn't tell them to do what they did. Even at that, mother. Even at that. Look, son. I do not want to hear about this matter again. Is that clear? So much pain. So much tears. So much tears. I feel like dying. So much shame, so much blame, ah. my heart is broken, why am I so unlucky, you got me asking myself why me. Amanda, Amanda, 
Come on, uh, okay, you want to wreck me as well? No, 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 you want to wreck me just the way you wrecked my sister? You want to wreck me? I would say that. It wasn't my fault. Whose fault? My fault? Or my sister's fault? Whose fault? I, I just want to talk to my wife. Please. Who is your wife? You can see she doesn't want to talk to you, so please get lost. Just get out of this place now. Get out. So much pain, so, so much, much pain. Reckless. I feel like dying. How did you even get in here? So much shame, Nonsense. so much blame. Amanda! Amanda! Amanda. Hi. What's up? Hope all is well. Something happened. So, what happened? Vincent is the same guy that raped her. Jesus Christ. You mean the same guy that got married to her? Mm hmm. Though she has called up the marriage. Of course she needs to. She needs to call up the marriage. That guy does not deserve her at all. At all. All this while she's been living with her best enemy. Jesus. And how did you get to find out this? Well, I couldn't speak to her because um, she's been going through a lot lately. So I, I just let her be. For now. So what's your next line of action? Very simple. Getting my wife back. That's it. And I think the time is now. Exactly. <laughs> hey! Get my friend something to drink. We need to celebrate. I don't want to drink anything. Mm -mm. This is a celebration for me, for us. My heart is broken. Why am I so unlucky? Life is not fair, but we are living it. Life is so mysterious that no more will be able to explain it but God Almighty. He is the one that knows everything that happened and the reason they happened. The best we can do is to bury the past so that we can enjoy all the blessings God has bestowed upon us through Vincent. Vincent is a blessing to this family. No. No, Mama. He might be a blessing to both of you, but he's definitely a curse to me. He might be, if you say so. But definitely, you cannot imagine your life with a man as heartless as Felix. Only the madding job. But sometimes God uses real situations to expose fake people in our lives. You heard that. You heard when his friends confessed that it was his friends that lured him into that thing he did. But Buddha Enobi wasn't his intention at all. Please forgive him. If not for anything, for this your beautiful baby. Let her be a consolation. Let that be something you will look at and say, yes, something happened. But I forgive because of this, my child. I beg you. You don't understand. You do not understand. I am the one wearing the shoes. And I know her body hurts. Ujumwa. Can you remember what I told you? If God gives me the opportunity to set my eyes on the he God that raped me, can you remember? You said you will starve him to death. Very good. Very good! If you starve him to death, what will it be? When she goes, 
Amanda, I'm equally pained. I'm so pained. I am so angry at Vincent. But, but considering what Mama just said, there's a lot of sense in what she said. Remember what you told me. Remember what you said you would ask God if Vincent grants you two wishes. You said you would pray to God to make him live longer than Methuselah and more successful than King Solomon. Please, my sister, forgive him. Please, find a place in that beautiful heart of yours and forgive him. Never! Never, Mama! I'd rather die than forgive Vincent. Please, my sister. Where are you going? If this child is going to be the reason you both are thinking I will go back to Vincent, then I would rather leave her with you and run away from this house. I will never forgive Vincent. Never, Mama! Mama, please! Please! Don't start with the emotional... Emotional... Don't, don't, just, don't just come with the emotions! Amanda! 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 Amanda, Amanda, you're too young to put yourself in this condition. What is this? If this pension you're putting yourself, you develop any sickness, I'll be very far away from you. I will not come near you. What can I do? But what was he looking for? What was he looking for there? Can't he stay on his own? I mean, can't he? Mama, in as much as I've been begging Amanda to forgive him, I will have to go to Vincent and warn him to stay away from my sister. I mean, what is all this? What is all this? Hasn't he done enough damage already? Hasn't he? Hasn't he? He should stay away from my sister now! What is all this? has been arrested. Mm. Listen. They should continue with the arrest of whatsoever. Henceforth, I do not want to see Vincent Felix around you. They should stay very far away from you. What of them should just get out? They should get out! Son, what is it again? Felix arrested me and 
locks me up. I can't believe this, Mama. It's okay, my dear. Hmm? Come on, let's go in. It's all right. Okay? Everything will be fine. Let's go in. Come on. My heart is broken. Why am I so unlucky? You got me asking myself, why me? Hey, why me? Somebody call 911. Someone is down. I can feel my heart again. So much pain. So much death. Every day I'm crying. <laughs> Please. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I'm sorry for the way I treated you in the past. The truth is that I acted based on ignorance. I'm so sorry. I have no statement to justify my actions. But today, I want you to know that I have accepted my mistake and I'm a totally changed person. If you become my wife, God in heaven knows that I will treat you right. I will give you the world. Please. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Let's continue from where we stopped. Please, my love. Please. I have not been myself since you left. into pieces. This wedding will not hold. Hey! The lady in question is pregnant for another man. Hey! Mom! So, let her go and look for the man that put that bastard in her womb. Amanda! justify my actions.
I love you. I love her. I'm so sorry. I know I caused you so much pain. But honestly, it wasn't my fault entirely. That is why I have come to accept this fault. My world has been empty without you. I can't continue like this. So please, I ask you to forgive me. Not because I'm sorry, but because I love you. from a bloody rapist. That's how they go about raping people. Eh? You make me hate my own life. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm here for you. Eh? It's okay. Each time I remember how I was forced <sighs> into taking that juice. Hey, relax. It's what you want from me. Please. Take, I don't want to drink anything. Please, I don't want to drink anything. I'm begging you, please. Take this drink now or I stab you hey, to death. Please, 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 don't help me. Please, I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. Now. <laughs> no, 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 Ah! 
What kind of what kind of what kind of human being are you? Raping we if not if not for one thing, God knows I'm here for peace talks. If not for one thing, eh? But it's okay. It's okay, my love. Stop crying. You don't you need to you're not worth dropping tears for this my girl. Eh? It's okay. Please. Stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. Doctor, I forgive you. Because I will not entirely put the whole blame on you. You will, oh. Because when he was doing it, he knows that he was doing something. He, you will, oh. I forgive you. What stupid person. You can call me here, rapist. Whatsoever you like. But I've come here to take you home, my love. Oh, come, come. She just said she has forgiven you. So carry your hibiscus flower and get out of here. Please don't say no. Please. It's okay. Huh? It's a good thing you've let things go. That is to tell that you owe nobody any, any grudges. Huh? It's a good thing, okay? It's okay. Nonsense he came with. Mine is bigger. Smooth. It's okay. Hmm? Let's continue from where we stopped. Okay. Against me, 